Hello everybody and welcome back to Introduction to CMake episode number 4. In the previous episode we talked about version control. In this episode we're going to talk about CPAC. Okay, so let's open up our project. I upgraded to Visual Studio 2017 between episodes. It shouldn't affect our project. Okay, let's go to our cmakelist.txt file. Now, if you remember, when we needed to use ctest, we had to include the ctest module. Well, now we need to use cpac, and for that we need to include the cpac module. Okay, let's build our project. And you'll see we get another target over here called package. So let's build that. And we get an error that says cannot find NSIS compiler. Okay, so let's open up the CMake GUI. Now you'll want to make sure that the CMake GUI is pointed at your project and the grouped and advanced checkboxes are checked. Okay, go to the CPAC drop down list, and here you'll find a bunch of binaries that start with CPAC underscore binary. These are the different packages that you can tell CPAC to build. Right now we're trying to build the NSIS package, but since we don't have this installed on our system, I'm going to uncheck this. I'm going to check the 7-zip package as well as the zip file package. Okay, click configure and generate. And now we can build our package. Okay. Now we need to go to the build directory and inside you should see your packages. So this package contains a bin directory with an executable and an src directory with main.cpp. This probably looks familiar. If you remember in the first episode, we installed our package on the C drive, which is this right here. If we open this up, you'll notice it looks very similar. In fact, it's identical. That's because the way CPAC works is it installs your package in a temporary location and then it compresses your package into a zip file. So CPAC depends on your installation code. Okay, now let's install the NSIS compiler. Go ahead and open up your favorite browser. And just type in NSIS compiler. Okay, now let's go back to the CMake GUI and the CPAC drop down list, and we'll enable the NSIS package again. Configure, generate. 
and now we can run the package inside the build directory we should now see the NSIS package which is this right here as you can see this gives you a much nicer interface for installing your package This is what the package looks like on your C drive. We have the bin directory, the SRC directory, and we have uninstall.exe. Okay, that's all for Introduction to CMake episode number four. This is the final episode in our Introduction to CMake series, so I hope you learned something, and thank you for watching.